video from Fast Tech, and this one I'm going to be disassembling a PS4 DualShock 4 controller, specifically a model ZCT2U. I'm going to be showing you guys how to disassemble this controller and replace any part that may break. We sell all the parts for this controller on our website at fasttechstore.com, including our Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, which is a toolkit we're going to be using to disassemble this PS4 controller. Not only does this kit have all the bits you need to disassemble your PS4 controller, but it also has all the bits and tools you need to disassemble all other kinds of electronics, including your PS4 console, your PS5, your PS5 DualSense controller, which is gonna be another video we're gonna be putting up soon, so stay tuned for that. And it even has a bit you can open up McDonald's toys with if you weren't sold already. Links are gonna be in the description box and you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. Let's start. And we're gonna be using our Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, as I mentioned earlier. We're gonna flip the controller at the back. And before we start, we're gonna make sure that this video applies to your controller. And you can check the model number at the back here. It should say on this side, it should say model. And this one says C-U-H-Z-C-T-2-U. We're gonna remove the four Phillips screws. Once we have those Phillips screws removed, we're gonna separate the front of the controller from the back. And don't use too much force, just the right amount. Pull, it'll come off, but then push the triggers in the back and then pull the case off, but be slow because it's still attached with a cable. There's a cable running in the middle. We're gonna remove this cable by pulling it out like that. Now we have the back separated from the front. I'm gonna talk about the back real quick before I move on to the rest of the controller. The back houses the USB charging port and the light bar. And the charging port breaks quite frequently on these, especially the older controller models for the PS4. This is one of the newer revisions. But either way, it's very easy to remove the port and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. All you gotta do is lift this piece up here like this. Get this plastic piece out, which reflects light to the front. These mo The newer models have a light bar in the front and this is the piece that reflects the light from the back all the way to the front. It slots in here like this. We're gonna lift up this piece. There's a plastic little tooth that it sits under. We're gonna lift it out from under there. Get it out of the way. The light bar is gonna drop out. Now there's a Phillips screw that holds this piece in. We're gonna remove it. And then we can lift up the USB charging port. There's tape that also holds it in, but that's the USB charging port that breaks quite frequently, but luckily it's modular, so it can be easily replaced. And we sell these on our website at fasttechstore.com. I'll put links in the description box and the top comment. You can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. Moving on to the rest of the controller. Next up is the battery pack. If your controller is not charging anymore, or if it only works when you plug it in via USB and as soon as you unplug it, it stops working, you need a new battery. These batteries are lithium ion and they generally have a life of a few years, depending on how much you play. Also, it depends on how many times, how many charge cycles it's accepted. So to replace the battery, we're just gonna lift it out. There's a connector here that we can grab, not by the off-white part that's on the motherboard, but by the white part. That's part of the battery, wiggle and pull. And it's gonna come right out. And the model on this battery is LIP1522. And as I mentioned earlier, it is available at fasttechstore.com. Links in the description box. Next, we're gonna get the logic board out. There's a Phillips screw that's holding it in.
get that out of the way and now we're gonna remove the battery holster there's also a plastic piece that presses the reset button a lot of people don't know that all PlayStation controllers well PS4 PS3 and PS5 as well have a reset button in the back where you can stick a toothpick or one of those iPhone opening pins in here push it down and what it does is it presses this button that resets the controller but you have to hold it for I believe at least 10 seconds don't quote me on that but I think it's about 10 seconds I'm not a hundred percent sure but if you have any settings related issues that will reset the controller then we're gonna remove this cable here pull it out this is for the touch bar in the front we're gonna push it through this slot because at this point we're gonna be lifting the logic board out and we can push the analog sticks in from the front and the logic board is gonna come out there's some wires that hold it in if you're just doing an analog stick replacement you can just pull them off at this point and replace your analog sticks I would personally install Xbox Elite style analog sticks on these if it was my controller like I have in a previous video and so that way I have customized analog sticks and I did do a video on this where we did this on an older model PS4 controller but that's how you would do it on one of these newer ones but I'm gonna continue with the disassembly for now for this part we're gonna need a soldering iron because we're gonna be removing these wires you don't necessarily have to remove these these are wires for the motors but for the sake of this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this if you're not comfortable with soldering you could skip this part and if you're trying to get to the buttons you are able to do that so just a quick disclaimer before I proceed For this part, we're gonna use a soldering iron. I recommend a Hakko FX951 or even a Weller like this one. These work really well. Links in the description box for those as well. Let me get these wires off. Quick and easy. This is a very high powered soldering iron, so if you're using a lower quality one, it'll take you a little bit longer. But obviously, we're motherfucking professionals over here, so we're not gonna be we're not gonna be using no rookie soldering iron. At this point, the logic board is gonna come out. This is what a PS4 DualShock 4 logic board controller from a model ZCT2U looks like. And this is one of the last PS4 controller revisions. And this is a PS5 DualSense logic board. So you can see that there's a significant size difference. And this time around the USB-C port is built onto the board. Obviously they figured that these wouldn't break as frequently as, as the USB-C ports on older PS4 generation controllers. This is a big and much needed upgrade for the PS5 controllers. So moving back onto the controller here. Now we're gonna remove the touchpad. We can just push it from the bottom and it's gonna come right out. And that's the touchpad. That's like never really used. You might as well not even put this back in and you'll never notice that it's gone. We're going to remove the membranes for the buttons. There's one membrane on each side. Once you remove the membrane, the buttons will just fall out. Same thing on this side. Boom. The direction pad fell out and that's how you replace those. The home button in the middle also has a membrane. Boom. Pull it out and it's out. 
Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to remove the triggers on this model and the newer PS4 controller revisions. These triggers don't fail very often, but in case they do, all you gotta do is push the trigger down just a little bit, pull it out of its socket like that. It's gonna come right out. The spring on these ones stays in there. All right, you could take it out if you want to, just by pulling it out, pushing it down sideways. Same thing with the L2, just push it down a little bit and pull it out of its socket like that. It's gonna come off and at the bottom, it goes over this hook here. L1, R1 are just gonna come out very, very easy. You just pull them out like that out like that and at this point we've fully disassembled the controller down to the motherboard another video from fast tech to show your support please subscribe to our channel and click the bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss another video from fast tech and smash the like button to show your appreciation and to let youtube know that we're doing the right thing it helps us out more than you think also, check out my vlog channel in which I travel the world and I record my adventures. Link for that is also gonna be in the description box. And don't forget guys, all the tools and parts that you saw in this video are available at fasttechstore.com. This is Shiroz from Fast Tech signing out and I'll see you in the next one.